letting go of the guilt cycle of separating from a narcissist. So letting go of the guilt cycle, you have to understand that. Um, so you need to, so number one, when you begin to set boundaries and when you begin to speak up for yourself, going no contact, low contact, what, what, whatever it is that your situation is, right? Co-parenting, um, that you have to understand that you, you're going in the beginning, you have to do what's what you have to do what's called um, radical acceptance right you still have to set the boundary even though you're gonna feel guilty right so you still have to do the right physical behavior to keep yourself safe and then you process your guilt later now let's talk about the guilt in and of itself number one it is manipulation that is not your guilt what happens, and the reason why I talk so much about boundaries when it comes to this, is that when you're in the, uh, the relationship with the narcissist, regardless of what narcissist we're talking about, romantic partner, friend, family, coworker, the reason why they like people who struggle with boundaries is because there's constant blurred lines, right? No, they, you don't know where you begin, you don't know where you end, right? So the narcissist is able to use that to their advantage because one of the bound there's several different types of boundaries there's mental boundaries there's physical boundaries but there's also feeling and emotional boundaries well when you don't know how to set boundaries with your emotions right you attach your emotions and you attach your feelings to other people well you happen to also attach them to this narcissist or to a family member and you find your happiness in other people you find and what happens is that because of that they use a what's called a fog method f o g fear obligation and guilt and what happens is that uh, that they have different sayings different uh so you let's say you're trying to break up with a narcissist well after all the things i've done for you i helped you get through school and then it makes you feel guilty because if you if you can have someone f fear set someone fear set some, make someone feel obligated or make someone feel guilty you can cause what's called emotional blackmail it's emotional manipulation emotional abuse because we make emotional based decisions and then we justify our decisions with logic and reason so right when you're about to leave they make you feel guilty well what does that do starts making messing with your decision making right so now because I feel guilty maybe I shouldn't go right because I feel so guilty why do I feel guilty and it's it's misplaced guilt it's actually not your guilt it's them Right. And so this is the reason why you have to begin to separate your feelings and begin to understand where you start, where you end. And to get a better grip and a better understanding of this, I highly recommend there's a book in my bookstore. Go to the link in my bio. Um, it is called Out of the Fog, F-O-G, Out of the Fog by Dana, Morning, Dana Morningstar is right in, my, right in the link in my bio. So hope that helps.